In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the grid array analysis ribbon for analyzing your image. Now, if you had not previously applied the, the grid array analysis type during image acquisition, you can apply it by clicking here on the analysis ribbon and under type, choosing grid array. Otherwise, you can also do that through the quick start menu up here and choosing grid array at this point. So on this image, we have, it's uh, four rows by 10 columns and each subgrid has uh, 16 spots. So I need to set up, we have the four rows and I'm going to input that we have 10 columns and then the four by four is already set. Now these are circular spots, so I'm going to change this to circle right here. And since it is not, uh, the boundary is not in the correct location, I'm going to kind of start over by clicking redraw boundary right here, and then clicking and dragging around my boundary there. And you can then move the grid into location and then if you need to, you can resize it to get the spots into the right area. Now you may notice that these spots are a little bit higher compared to the grid than over here. And that is due to the fact that this is not perfectly square to the image. So what you can do at this point is if you right click on the grid boundary, you can hit rotate grid right here and then rotate until they are in the appropriate location. And then you may have to do a little more fine tuning to get them into the correct spot. Now, if you know the exact dimensions of your spots, you can enter in that information. So if you click the options group for grid right here, you can enter in the spacing between the subgrids uh, for this area. And then you can also change the naming conventions of the grid itself, uh, either A1 or it can go 1A or just sequential numbers, however you would like to have that. And then under the array options, if you click on that, you can set up the uh, dimensions of your spots right here. Now you can also set here what will be used as background. And the color designations are that the green are being used for the signal, the, the black is the background, and if they're white, they're unused. And you can toggle through those for each spot just by clicking on the spot itself right here. And now the lower right for each one of the arrays will be used for background. You can also adjust the size if you need to fine tune the spacing a little bit to uh, get the spots into the correct location. You can also, the software has the capability of, if I highlight an array here, I can click adjust and it will move that into the correct location. So you may have to do this a few times uh, if, some, if some of the grids are not in the correct location. Uh, background, since I had set up this spot right here as my background uh, for each one of the arrays, the background type is set to array. Now you can have it set so that each one of the spots gets its own background subtraction, but normally it's preferable to use the array uh, so that we use a single spot for the entire array itself. Now if we come down here to the data, we have two new tables. We have the grid array spots and we have the grid sheet. The grid array spots is a designation is as far as uh, it's a column format uh, for doing or for viewing the uh, the data and there we go just wanted to set that again and so if you have designated a spot in the array or if you've done the local backgrounds uh, what you want to use is signal for doing your analysis because signal is the background subtracted value the total is simply the summation of all of the pixels as far as the intensities go, uh, but the signal is background corrected. So that's normally what you would want to use uh, for doing your analysis. And the grid array sheet or the grid sheet, you can choose a single array 
And so right now I have chosen the A1 array right here. And so we're looking at the total for the 800 channel. So the grid sheet is good for viewing a uh, single data point as far as a, a single array, a single quantification type and single channel. Whereas the grid array spots table has all of the data for each one of the arrays uh, in a column format. Now, if you want to look at the data in a chart format, uh, if this is really, it's not that useful if you have a, a large array like this, but if you have a smaller array, it can be very useful. And so what you want it to do here is to cha change your chart type to grid array. And now you see, since I have this large of a, uh, an array format, it's not, it's kind of difficult to see this, but if I want to view just a single array set, say I highlight this right here, and I can filter out everything that is not except for this. So I have this highlighted, and if I come down here to filter, I can set a selection filter, and now we're only viewing uh, the spots total uh, for that particular uh, array. And then if I want to go back and view them all together, I can clear that selection filter. And also, once you have all of this set, if you want to save this particular array as a, um, as a default or as a custom um, grid for use at, uh, on another image, up here under grid, you can save this current template, give it a name, and then that will be available for um, further images. So if you have any other questions, please refer to the help uh, format right up here. Uh, just simply click on the question mark right here and, and go into the help. Thank you.